wild onion. Here we are, November 17th, 2022, and it's up. I figured I smelled some a week or two ago out walking around somewhere. Had the onion scent, but there we go. Wild onion. You can tell it's like green onion tops. Make sure it smells like onion, not like grass. If it's like grass, it can kill you. It should smell like onion. And you dig in and you got the bulbs. Ta-da. Just take the top. Please don't take the whole thing. I'm just doing this to show for the video. Instructional purposes only. But pull this out. Take the top, save the bulb. It can come back. Take out the bulb. The whole thing's gone. But there you go. Oh, dang, didn't get the bulb tore it out. Fail. Hmm. All right, well, these are all fail, but you get the idea. I didn't get to the roots in the bulb, but you can see the white. Smell it. Smells like onion. Yeah, not like grass. All right, so here, was able to get some. You can see. Again, I don't normally do this. Just instructional video. You can see the bulb and the roots at the end of the onion. I just like to take the tops. I like to leave it so it can grow. But just to show you, there it is. Kind of onion. Small, but very good, very nutritious since they're wild. You can look up wild versus like grown stuff. Um, domestic. A lot of the wild stuff is more nutritious. So recommended. Enjoy. But forage responsibly. Take the tops again so the bottoms can stay and it can regrow um bulb stays in the ground that's a perennial and try to do it legally near creeks on private property near roads not out in the woods just anywhere um so get out enjoy real food you can grow it in your yard too then you can take the whole thing that's an option wild onion in your yard um it's a native so grows well. It'll take care of itself. Mother Nature will take care of it. Enjoy. Peace.